Your wait is finally over. The Zenith series has now officially launched, and the first piece is now available. And if you want to know more, check out the end of this video. Oh my god, look how good that looks. Oh, and, and you can have this. This is a poster. This is huge. Greetings, Commanders! Well, Galactic Battle Season 9 has begun. It starts this week. We have a new 15-day event, and the developers keep throwing out free game codes. So that's what we're talking about today. All right, so here are the codes, GQKL1001. Uh, you know, there's a, a limit there. So if you see this video and you haven't pu uh, punched in that code, grab that one. And there's a new one for the first 20,000 players for Harvest Festival it's called HARFES10. So I've already done the other one. Let's get these out of the way. Now, of course, I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the new event, the 15-day event, all the things going on. So I'm going to get all the quick stuff out of the way early. Uh, so it looks like Harfest 10 is now expired. That's lame. This was just posted 17. Yeah, first 20,000 captains 17 hours ago. Wait a minute, 923. Maybe it posts. No, it posted at midnight. Okay, well, apparently that one doesn't work. But I know the GQKL1001 works. I spell that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, whatever. Okay, uh, two other things. Galactic Battle Season 9 is here. I briefly talked about what's coming in the Galactic Battle. Uh, most importantly, just to qualify, you are going to get Dragon Slayer. Everything else is pretty much the same. It uh, looks like the Super Guilds kind of fell apart. Not fell apart, but they kind of split off during the finals last uh, last last month or so. And people have migrated around zero in other servers, but they are coming back home. No whispers of any new Super Guilds forming yet. Uh, but of course, if that does start to happen, I will let you guys know. I also started a new segment last week called Replay of the Week, and uh, oh boy, I got a lot of submissions for the best replays, and most of them came in during the kill event for uh, actual server-side PvP, which I can't wait to show off, so if you have great PvP replays or any type of replays, uh, absolute failures or wins, just uh, send them to me online. Uh, melt.aow and uh, also I'll invite you to the line chats because there's a lot of great things for example did you know that in this new event that was a segue in this new event uh, there is a aether coin event going on right the super chest event and there's a daily chest that changes every day well we know what's coming thanks to Krylar and the boys on discord the theory crafters think tank they have it all mapped out so they can tell you what to expect as each day goes on so today we get reinhardt medals and some bananas really not that bad but eh, if, if, if you really need magazines go for it i usually like to wait for the resources or uh, hyperspace unlimited crystal stuff the stuff you got to pay real money for uh, the rest of that stuff really isn't a bottleneck for me so let's talk about this 15 day event i mean most of it's pretty straightforward it's not too hard to figure out like the nidhogg event was kind of confusing the thing about this event i think is most important that people are here to watch that they want to know more about is how do they get more bananas that's right planet urban 7 has bananas and uh, you can get them by well i think the easiest way is just doing mop-ups you literally can finally use mop-ups and they're worth something now so click mop-up mode go to explore and you can actually get planet urban 7 bananas in mop-up now i've, I've been told that uh, you can't get them and explore only in mop up and you don't have to sit in here and watch like me I was a noob the first time I didn't realize you can just click X and it collects them all for you and then you can go see how many bananas you got by clicking on your inventory going to other and uh, there they are 21 bananas now what you do with those bananas is you head on over to the new vending machine that's right there's a new vending machine called planet urban 7 vending machine and my you can actually reset this too if you spend gold buy gold to get these reset tokens definitely if you spend gold uh, but so what you want, though, is you want the new chest. You can actually get the new chest that doesn't appear in the game yet. Last event, they gave us the new pants. But there is actually a new chest piece with Crit Wither on it. Uh, you actually can't see it there. You actually have to go to Help. It's under Handbook, Upgrade Handbook. Yeah, all the way to the bottom here. And you can see this is the Shura. Crit Wither, Defense, Dodge, Awesome. So this is the last item in the game we know about that uh, hasn't been released it is now released and you get it by playing the vending machine now uh, of course you don't want to get the shadow if you already have it you want the the shura or the new item because it's probably going to be used for a haul or maybe just the new meta whatever you want to get one if you can get them and it's basically free you don't have to pay money you can get the bananas with mop-ups and other things so here's 10 times roll i'm going to roll 10 times i've been saving this all day so i can do it for the video so there's the uh yeah so i got the c token a couple d's some eight hour shields not great not a good one 
Uh, but most importantly, what I want to do is reset it. But you have to clear enough of them to reset it. What does it say? This is the famed shared vending machine of Planet Urban 7. Screen out if you hit the jackpot. Every attempt will grant you a chance to hit the jackpot. When there's some items that have been sold out, you will have even greater chance to win the jackpot. When you hit the jackpot, you can refresh all items. So you have to hit the jackpot to refresh it, and you can't refresh it until you hit that jackpot. So you just gotta burn through these bananas. Uh, the other ways to get the bananas, I think are pretty straightforward. The, the, the mop-up one was probably the most sneaky way of introducing it. Um, so that should cover that. Now it is a 15 day event, I should cover that real quick. Uh, there's free VIP success rate for adding leadership, buy one, get one. Okay, and then uh, don't forget, Aether coins are a big part of this event, right? There's a way to get some great stuff. You wanna get items at the end of this. Uh, if you need Aether coins, you don't buy them up here in the top right anymore. No, you actually buy them in the event window, which is kind of sneaky. Uh, so if you go here, there's the $100 one. It doesn't show correctly here. Uh, but there's the $100 one. There's the $20 one. And then there's the $50 one. Now, you can only get Aether Coins on $50 and $100. They got rid of the $20, 10 Aether Coin pack. Boo. But, you know, you get more for $50 anyway, right? It used to be 10 for 20 would have been 60 for 30 So it's cheaper, but uh, you still got to spend a lot more money. Whatever. Developers want to make their money. Okay, the other important thing... God, I'm going fast, guys. I hope I hope you guys appreciate this this haste that I'm carrying. Uh, you can pick up Big Hero Bullet and Apocalypse Warrior Rock, some of the cooler Gundam skins that are somewhat rare. Uh, but in order to get them, you need the Boiling Blood, and then all this other stuff requires the Endless Vortex, the Faction tests or faction quests that means a hundred faction quests you can get if you can even reset the factions you can get a couple wild roses a couple titans if you're really feeling like grinding t faction quests this week go nuts but personally i'm burned out i'm just looking right past these uh, i have the infantry headpiece i don't need anything else the only thing i'm really interested in is probably <laughs> the alternate skins which means i need a boiling blood so for the sake of this video and the people that watch it they want to know how many super equipment chests well usually that gets posted in the line chat so if you haven't joined the line community or any of the other communities check in the description below i can invite you directly uh with that information if you message me uh, but you can also find yeah super equipment chest how many it takes to get the new items uh, i'll open those in a second of course there's charging uh your own credit card right buying stuff gives you stuff nothing here is out of control crazy good it just kind of perks for spending so thank you to you uh for, for helping support our game but uh yeah there's some bananas for for using gold i'll probably go up to a hundred thousand there i don't want to go too crazy here uh, and then, of course, the daily chest, like I said, we have that uh, mapped out on Theorycrafters Think Tank. Uh, there's a spreadsheet uh, probably in the description below, definitely in the line chats. And keep an eye on the daily chest. And as far as the celebration chests are concerned, the first one's usually okay, but there's two celebration chests. One's going to be food and, and parts. That one's good. And then there's going to be gas and electricity, and that one's typically not very good. So avoid that one if you're going to be spending. And, of course, the rest of this stuff is just preference. But, you know, let's try to avoid getting into a too long of an event video because most of that stuff's common sense. So I got 1,500. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up 150 right off the bat and see what I get. Okay, it's not going to let me. Let's do 100 even. And I'm looking for the vial of boiling blood. I'm assuming it does change over time, you know, because I've gotten a boiling blood before, but I know in the past they've changed the, the chance of dropping. So uh, at 100, it looks like we got the incre increased chance. So let's do 10 more. And no, not yet. Let's do another 10. This is going to be 120. Okay, no. Let's do 10 more. That's 130. There it is. So I got it on 130. Could have been 121. Anywhere between 120 and 130, and I got it. So that's actually pretty cheap, and I could do a lot with that. So, oh, man, I should have deleted a bunch of those items. Now my inventory's full. But, uh, yeah, I'll go over here and take a look at what I can get. But just doing 120, I was able to get enough boiling blood for oh, something, right? Something good? Oh, I didn't talk about the nano leathers. Mm. Boiling blood. Nano leathers, you get those from farming tiles, 800,000 resources or more, or 500 or 400,000 gold. And shadow matter. I forget the numbers. I don't farm shadow. I haven't farmed shadow matter in over a year. I know it's important for tier 7 accounts, but I just don't know it. Check the description below if you know how many shadow matters equals one nano leather. Uh, but it looks like I can actually get uh, the rock one or the bullet one. I'll probably get both of them if I don't have bullet already. Uh, just because it's so easy. Boiling blood. That was so fast. Instead of just having to click it in the old days. Oh my god, that was bad. Anyway, alright, let's see what else I'm missing here. I am extremely pleased to announce that Patreon has assigned me a handler. And we officially have a secretary. Uh, I don't know if that's the right term. But listen, we have help now. And because we have help, we have the opportunity to use Patreon merch. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I have been working with some artists and I've been working on some de designs and some ideas and we are commissioning a poster. Now we've already got a Techman Moon poster, Moonstar poster when we get to 95 patrons. I'm going to mail the first 95 patrons that month uh, a Techman Moon Star poster signed and everything. If you haven't checked out that promo, check out patreon.com. This is another poster and this one comes from being a patron consecutively for month after month after month. Now, of course, I put my watermark on it, and I put some text on it because, you know, I, I don't want the, the final picture to be revealed. Uh, but this is what I'm calling the Zenith series, okay? Now, this is Captains of Eight, and this is the main captains, most used captains in Galactic Battle Eight. Notice the detail. Isn't the detail so freaking good? Oh, I get super excited about this stuff. This is the kind of stuff I wanted to make when we started the Patreon and stuff. Yeah, I wanted the, the YouTube intros and the high-def stuff and just upgrading the equipment, but artwork original artwork mailed to your doorstep for all the patrons that support this channel um, and this is one of 12 this is the 12th one I'm going all the way down to one uh, I don't know how I'm gonna roll them out I just know that this one is for signing up patreon and paying consecutive months of course you still get the, the founders club mug uh, and I'm gonna announce that the founders club is going to disappear we had a $15 Founders Club for Patreon. I'm going to be getting rid of that soon when all the mugs are gone. So if you want to be a part of that uh, and get early access to all the content and all the merch and stuff that comes out, there's a lot of perks to it. Check it out in Patreon in the description below. Uh, and then after that, I think I'm going to just get rid of the Founders Club and make it 20 because those posters are expensive and uh, it doesn't make sense to do the posters uh, you know, every three months. Yeah, so I got I to gotta balance out costs. So, yeah. Anyway... That's what's going on with the channel. Thanks for watching Tuesday Newsday. Uh, I don't know what kind of live streams we'll be doing soon, but uh, if you have any good ideas for the channel, I'm always and I'm always happy to hear them. And uh, that's it. I've had too much caffeine, boys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.